Hello class, this is a video tutorial on similarity part 2. In this video, we'll be looking at similar triangles. A pair of similar triangles will have three equal corresponding or matching angles, and all three pairs of corresponding sides are in the same proportion. This is just another way of saying that they have equal scale factor. So here's an example where, where we have two triangles that are already given to be similar. So from here we can see that angle ABC is equal to angle XYZ. Angle ACB is equal to angle XZY. And angle BAC is equal to angle YXZ. So we have three equal angles if they are equal. And if you were to do all the calculations shown here, so for example, XY over AB, XY, 12 over AB, 6, 12 over 6 is 2. And if you were to do that for all of them, 6 over 3, 6 divide 3 is 2, 6 divide 3, and 10 divide 5 is also 2. So all three sides have the same scale factor. So, um, sorry, however, two triangles can be proven to be similar with fewer conditions. The fewest number of conditions for similarity proofs are summarized in the following four tests. Two angles, three proportional sides, two proportional sides, and an end and included angle, right angle, and two proportional sides. So let's take a look at these in detail. Now, don't be confused with these for congruency tests. They look similar, or like they, they look like they are related to congruency tests, but they are not quite the same. The, these four tests shown here are for similarity. So if you have two triangles and you find one and two pairs of equal angles, then these two um, triangles are similar. Uh, if you have two triangles where every side is the same proportion, so for example, 10 divided by 5 is 2, 8 divided by 4 is 2 and 4 divided by 2 is 2 then these two triangles are in proportion because they have the same scale factor for every side if we have two proportional sides and a included angle which means the angle in between them then they are similar so we have corresponding sides. So for example, if we did 4 divided by 2, let's choose this, 4 over 2, well that's 2, and 10 over 5, that's also 2. So we have two pairs of proportional sides, and the angle in between is equal. Then these two triangles are uh, similar. The last test is we have a right angle, as shown here, and two proportional sides. So we have a right angle, and if we have two sides that are in proportion, so for example, if we had 20 over 5, 20 divided by 5 is 4, and 24 divided by 6 is also 4. They have the same scale factor or they're in the same proportion and they both have the same right angle triangle, uh, the right angle, so they're both 90 degrees, then these two triangles are similar. So remember we don't need to find all six pieces of information, we just need these ones summarized here. So let's go straight into some examples here. You can pause the video and give it a go yourself. So here we go. 
So let's figure out which of the tests we can use for these ones. So take a close look. We have 7 becomes 14. So let's do that. 14 divided by 7 is 2. And 18 divided by 9, that's also 2. So we have the same proportion. And the angle in between is the same. Well, that there is two proportional sides and an included angle. To keep things simple, because we don't have any acronyms for these, let's just call these test one. Oops, that's test one. Test two. Test three. And test four. Okay, so for this one, we just use that is test number three, two proportional sides and an included angle. So this is test two. That's two sides in proportion. And included angle. This one's not so bad. Let's take a look. Uh, the largest side is 30. And let's, um, uh, let's divide it by the largest side in the purple triangle. So 30 divided by 10, that's 3. 27 is the second largest. So 27 over the second largest here is 9. 27 divided by 9 is 3 and you can probably take a guess 21 is the smallest side here 21 over 7 because that's the smallest side in the purple triangle that's also 3 so this is three proportional sides that is test uh, 2 sorry my mistake this should have been test 3 this is three proportional sides Okay, let's keep going here. Let's take a look. We have 55, that's equal. We have 45 and 80 in the other triangle. But as we always do, you can calculate what this missing one is. Let's call that x. 55 plus 40 plus x. Um, angles in a triangle should also always equal 180. This gives me 95 plus x equals 180. Oh, sorry, not, not 40, 45, my mistake, sorry. So 45 plus 55 is 100. Subtracting 100 on each side, that cancels. This leaves us with x is equal to 180 minus 100 is 80. I'll take a look that angle is equal to this one so that there is test number one that is two equal angles let's do another one here uh, take a close look we have a right angle and we have two equal Oh, two sides in proportion. I can see that already. That's 10 divided by 5. That's both the hypotenuse. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. And 6 divided by 3 is also 2. That there is test 4. That is right angle and two proportional, two proportional sides. Two more here. Let's take a close look now. Um, hmm. As you can see, I can, hmm, let's try and figure out what this missing angle is first. Let's call that angle X once again, 65, plus 55, plus 40, plus 
plus x should equal 180 degrees. Um, using my calculator, 65 plus 55, that is 120. Uh, that's plus x. If we subtract 120 from both sides, this gives us 60 degrees. So that there is 60. Now if we take a close look, um, there's nothing that we can actually use because this might be in proportion, that's 5. Uh, actually, let's just do it like so. I'll demonstrate to you what I mean. 15 over 5, that's 3. 12 divided by 5, uh, 12, sorry, 12 divided by 4 is also 3. So we have two proportional sides, but the angle in between them are not equal. So in this example, these two triangles are not similar. Okay. We have one last example here. There's a 90 degree, but there's a 60 and a 30 in the other one. Uh, for all of these, it's always best to double check what the missing angle is in one of them. Let's just label that one X. And we know that X plus 90 plus 30 should equal 180. This is x plus 120 equals 180. Subtracting 120 from both sides to solve the equation, we get x is equal to 60. Now take a look. Because we have 60 and 90, we have two equal uh, uh, angles. So this is test number one. That's two equal angles. And there we have it. So I hope that gave you an insight into using these um, tests to find and prove two triangles are similar. So I hope to see you in the next video. Best of luck.